What's going on guys? It's your boy Sheep the Wise and welcome back to Vader's Lair. Let's get this thing going. We're going to be doing our Star Wars Rebels rewatch and going back to season 3 episode 20, one of the best episodes ever. That's right. We're starting off with Twin Sons and we're going to go probably into season 4 today. So welcome back into the channel and let's do it. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe as you enter into the channel. I'm really big today. Wow. <laughs> How's everybody in the chat doing? It's good to see you all. And I'm happy to be here with you guys, man. I gotta say, if you haven't seen Star Wars Rebels already, it's one of the greatest shows of all time, in my opinion. And I definitely think it's one of the most underrated and probably best Star Wars anything it's it's some of the best star wars that there's ever been and these episodes that we're watching today are some of the best that there ever been in general and in this show it's it's some good star wars man it's some damn good star wars it's good to see you all though star wars fits timothy the stanley's t-man does games nerds of hell's kitchen skywalker's academy much love to everybody in the chat star wars mcu og i see you too my dude much love and welcome in y'all let's get this thing going i got the disney plus up on my uh on my end i'm no i'm not i'm not sharing it i promise you i promise you i'm not sharing it <laughs> but Let's get this thing going. <laughs> um, we're going to kick it off again with Season 3, Episode 20, Twin Sons. Let me get the music down here. Much love, Tim. Good to see you in the chat, my dude. Ahsoka will be as good as Rebels. I, oh, it could be better, my guy. It could be better. We'll see, though. I mean, it is going to be kind of like a, a sequel, right? I definitely think that is going to be the case with Star Wars Ahsoka. And, man, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yeah, if you guys want to help support the stream, you can go check out our Streamlabs channel where you can throw up a super chat on there or uh, just check out our merch merch over there too. We got some we got some pretty cool merch. We got some pretty cool merch. I think we, we might have to update it with uh, some of the new logos or something, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all. Without further ado, let's get this thing going. We're going to kick it off again with Season 3, Episode 20. I'm going to get the timer up. And let us begin with our Star Wars Rebels rewatch today. Oh my goodness, it went up instantly. That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> my bad, I gotta adjust this. Alright, let's get it going with Season 3, Episode 20. <laughs> In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, do it. In my mind's eye, Kenobi. <laughs> Let's go. I love the way the mall just like. <sighs> Do the Streamlabs thing. <laughs> if you want to support Sheev, go check out the. Go check it out. Kenobi. Kenobi. I thought we were doing season four, episode four. No, we're we're going back. So I had to. I don't know exactly what's wrong with uh, the channel at the moment, or what videos are not you know breaking the policy. You know, I kind of want to move this over here. It's messing with me. <laughs> we're too big today. No. His noble heart. Yes. Maul's going insane, man. Ever since Clone Wars, this dude's been cuckoo. I mean, he's always been a little bit cuckoo. He had Palpatine as a master torturing him. I mean, j j poor dude. You almost feel bad for Maul, but also you're like, You've done that yourself. <laughs> hey, what up, Nerd Mafia? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do the Streamlabs thing. Do the Streamlabs thing. 
We might we might end up getting the season four episode four. I don't know. We I don't, maybe not. Took me a little bit longer to get this going today. So part of the whole thing, I was trying to figure out. Oh man, it's so cool to see the to see this. What's going on, THD? Oh, this episode's so good. Okay, so. God, this is... Okay, this episode's so good. The whole thing. I was trying to figure out... I, I kind of don't want to do watch parties on the channel right now. I know we're going to do today's, uh, but tomorrow we might end up doing it on the second channel or even on Twitch. And I got to figure that out by tomorrow or by today, hopefully. So I have a Twitch channel now. I have a second channel that's on YouTube, Sheave the Wise. Um, I wasn't sure if I could do just like talking stuff on Twitch because I haven't looked into Twitch that much. Like I, ha I created a channel and everything, but I can. So we might end up streaming the rest of it on Twitch? I don't know. Can't even watch these episodes too many times. No, no. These episodes are so damn good. You could watch them a million times. This is probably like the, the fourth time we've done it. You know what I mean? It's so good. Sleemo, yeah. Oof, that's crazy. I love the way that these are edited and put together. This, this show's so damn good. To be honest, please don't do Twitch. There's ads. Okay, there's ads on everything. You 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 probably getting ads for this, and I'm not even monetized. Yeah, no, I don't, I'm, I'm, I gotta figure it out. You are very close. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that. I was worried about the whole layer background, if I'm being honest, because I'm just don't know what I did. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm a little less close now. A little better. A little better. A little better. Back over there, timer. Haha, <laughs> there you go, Fitz. Stash going crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, the beard's growing out a little bit at the moment. Ezra just wants the help, yo. He thinks Kenobi's the answer, but he's not. Well, he is. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is Kenobi the answer? Really? The Kenobi thinks it's Luke. And I guess it's sort of Luke. But it's also Ezra and Kanan. <laughs> you know, the great thing about Star Wars Rebels, in my opinion, it's always been there for me in some of my lows and it just brings a lot of happiness with moments like this do it Ezra Chopper's watching him too Ooh, he's like yeah I'm coming too <laughs> hey yeah I definitely uh, I definitely have thought about doing some uh, Battlefront 2 that's awesome Fitz oh can't hear you peace <laughs> Deuces. I'd, outside of the Falcon, what's your favorite Star Wars ship, says THG. Hey, that's a good question. Let me know what you guys think in the chat. What's your favorite Star Wars ship? I really like the um, the Clone Wars era, like, Jedi Starfighters. But my favorite ship is probably the Ghost. Oh, Chopper! <laughs> this dude's a maniac. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? No, you know what? I was in the back. 
<laughs> Yo, I found these videos of Chopper, uh, people like translating for Chopper. It's so good. It's so good. And it's pretty accurate, too. My favorite's got to be the Inquisitor site. Dude, that's freaking sick. THG says agreed. I'm a ghost guy myself. Hey, I feel you, man. Slave 1 is hard, Fitz. Okay, I got to agree with you. That's that's a hard one. Thanks for all the love. Much love, guys. Star Wars MCU OG says Luke's X-Wing and the Ghost. Probably a toss-up. X-Wing is generic, but still love it. Yeah, dude, I agree. The X-Wing is definitely a, a, a classic. I, dude, the tire interceptors are hard. I got to admit, those are pretty hard. Love you, Don. Much love. Thanks for all your support, always. Hey, that's a good one, though, Nerds of Hell Kitchen. That's that's a damn good one. Them tiny snow speeders on Hoth, pretty dumb. Yeah, those are sick. Those are sick. Oh, Luthen's ship is definitely hard. That, I forgot about that, THG. Luthen's ship is so cool. It's got lightsabers built in. What? God, you can't tell me that's not one of the coolest things ever. <laughs> yeah, that. to be honest, that might be the coolest ship in Star Wars. I'm not going to lie. A-Wings are cool, too. I love that Ezra's flying one around here to Tatooine. So damn cool. I love the lore that they built in this man. The 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 stuff with the holocrons, bringing them all back, having having them follow him there. The, like this is so damn cool here in season three, and the way it kind of culminates here in the end of the season, freaking mind blowing. Damn. Yeah, I, I totally forgot a loot and ship. Right, Grievous is starfighter sick. Ooh, Tuskins. Oh, Maul set him up for this. Damn, I just realized that. I think this is like the 70 times I've seen it. Because he's like, we must draw in Kenobi. Now you see. <laughs> so many ships in the prequels. I love that too. Jedi Starfighter is awesome. It is OG. Oh! Didn't work, Maul. You didn't draw him in. Yeah, Darth Maul's ship is definitely pretty hard. Especially the Phantom Menace one. Oh, Maul's like, you failed. Whew. We hear Tuskens dying like that so many times in Star Wars, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Well, let's go this way. My favorite ship in all the movies. Do beat Todd Dorado, the Eternals fool around. Say what? Oh, dude, that thing is crazy. The thing from the Eternals? Yo, that thing is crazy. So, I, so, 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 so. Maybe I should do this after and like kind of explain to you guys what the plan is. But we might finish this up on the other channel with all the watch parties going forward. What's up, Star Staber Smith? <laughs> and um, I was thinking about doing a kind of secret invasion stream, talking about the season and what I, you know, my thoughts of the finale and everything next week after the episode airs. Um, probably won't do it that night. Just because I probably need sleep. <laughs> but I do want to talk to you guys about Secret Invasion over on the other channel. And we're probably going to do... And thank you, Tim, for throwing that into the chat. Go check out our second channel, Achieve the Wise, on YouTube. Um, but yeah, we're, we're probably going to do watch parties over there and try to do like previews and different like news streams or theory streams on this channel Uh during Ahsoka and everything even too probably so 
uh, stay tuned in our Discord, which is in the link in the description below. Uh, check out our socials, which you can see on the screen. Much love, Saber Smith. I appreciate it, my dude. Personally, as a comic book reader, the TV show just ain't it for me compared to the book. Well, definitely stay tuned for my thoughts, my dude. I, I, I need to go through the comic book again because it's been a long time since I kind of even you know did like a youtube run through and i'm i've never been a big comic book guy although i love comics and everything but um it's been a while since i went through the secret invasion story in the comics tim is the go thank you bro mando's n1 oh damn you're right you're right and the end one's so cool in season three too it's dope your sorrow calls to him. Mars Wildmo, the dark side of the force, is a pathway to many possibilities. Some consider to be unnatural. I don't want to give too many of my thoughts away about Secret Invasion, and I think the finale is going to go hard. To be honest, it's been. Uh, this is the one thing I'll say. It's been my favorite show of the MCU since loki probably and i think it has the potential to even be better like I, th I think this is only the tip of the iceberg but i don't know i don't know you know we'll see with the finale chop no okay 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 i know this is a big weekend for for cinema with barbie and oppenheimer coming out right <laughs> i saw someone I, I i don't know who it was exactly but i saw somebody put out choppenheimer and it was chopper and i like the the explosion in the background i'm like yes choppenheimer <laughs> that's fantastic it fits perfect and ezra's sorrow has never been deeper So many ways to support Streamlabs tips, monthly repeating, direct PayPal. Yeah, we're definitely going to be doing a Patreon too. So that is something I wanted to update you guys on. I'm going to work on getting that up. But uh, gaming stuff might end up just being on Twitch. You know, the the other channel will probably be for watch parties and maybe even Marvel content and different things like that. Uh, heck, I might even do like reviews of other movies or talk about DC stuff too, but We'll see. I haven't watched The Flash, so maybe if I do, I could give you guys my thoughts on that. <laughs> I haven't seen episode 5 of Secret Invasion yet. Much wa Must watch it later. Do it. Do it. What up, Brandon Alvarado? Good to see you in the chat, my dude. Kenobi! Dude, I love Steven Stanton, who does the voice here, man. He sounds just like him. Just like Alec Guinness. Almost like a blend of Alec Guinness and Ewan in a way. But definitely has that Alec Guinness voice, you know. The goat! Kenobi! You're not seeing things. Whoo! I love this scene. Nope, you gotta get out of here, son. You you don't know nothing. Oh, you know. Yup. Foolish. Chopper's like, oh, this guy's the goat. This guy's the goat. I love how Chopper looks at Kenobi, to be honest. That's hilarious. It's inevitable now. No, no, he, he, he knows. The holocrons told you. Oh. <laughs> you seem to be letting it all go. I love that line. It's so damn good. Bring on the war crimes! <laughs> oh God, Saber Smith, that's that's funny. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited for the Ahsoka series. Dude, Brandon Alvarado, I am hyped. You never have been. Yeah. Come on, Ezra. 
should put Chopper on the galaxy's most wanted murder list. Yeah, dude, he uh, e- even the New Republic should put that out. You know, he works for them, but sheesh. <laughs> oh, there he is. One of the best moments in the entire show, man. No, this is this is my fight. I'm also like, say what? I'm gonna kill you. You don't mean you got your, you got family? Yeah, he's <laughs> he pulled the dawn from. Uh, <laughs> it's about family. <laughs> Go to your family, Ezra. <laughs> you ain't gonna be seeing nothing, my guy. Look what I have risen above. Man, Steven Stanton's Kenobi with the fire lines in this episode. Some of the best lines in all of Rebels, dude. Just spitting. Spitting. Power to take life. Just banger after banger after banger after banger. <laughs> and what do you have? And Sam Witwer too, dude. Oh, the, the, the fact that this is such a good damn scene, bro. It's so good. Have a purpose here. Yeah. Yes, he does. And then, of course, Sam Witwer letting us know all the subtleties between this fight. Whoo! Clone Wars Kenobi stance. Maul doing his thing. Oh, Obi-Wan reads it. Maul's ready. He says, all right, let's do the Qui-Gon stance. And he, Maul's like, I can beat that! Let's go! Kenobi's like, oh, bring it on, my dude. You don't know who you're messing with. And you thought. Perfect. One of the greatest scenes in animated history, I would say. So damn good. Star Wars 5th finally getting Rebels figures, waiting for years for them. Dude, I saw a lot of the stuff going on at Comic-Con. It looks Freaking awesome, man. Is he the chosen one? He is. Fire scene. Kenobi even then is like, even in death, this fool didn't understand. Shaking my head. Bye-bye. And that's the end of Maul, (laughs) y'all. Twin moons, too? I didn't know that. Or is that the suns? Gone full circle for them both. It is. And it's wild that uh, Maul kind of ends up dying the same way that Satine and Qui-Gon do, right? In Kenobi's arm, right? Same kind of pose. Wild. So perfect. Dave Filoni with the heat. They forgot about Sabine and Chopper figures, though. Come on, y'all. Can't forget about the goats. They messed up on the Rancor? Oh, no. That's wild. <laughs> I watched the top... Uh, top the most... Top 10 most kills in Star Wars. I thought Chopper might have been number one. Apparently, it's Luke Skywalker. Yeah, uh, Luke actually is the highest kill count, having blown up the first Death Star. Yeah. (laughs) I saw a meme about that last night where it was like Yoda talking to Luke, and Luke's like, uh, says something to him, and he's like, No, you, you killed a lot of people. He's like, Yoda's like, Damn Skywalkers, like <laughs> so perfect. This episode's fire, man. Absolute perfection from Star Wars Rebels, as always, in this one. 
and uh, probably just one of the greatest episodes ever of anything. You know what I mean? Absolutely amazing. All the subtleties in this dang episode just are are why Star Wars Rebels is truly my favorite show ever and truly one of the best Star Wars projects ever. It brings a blend of what came before it, does it so perfectly and honorably, and then it just adds more to it. You know what I mean? The fact that there's these characters that we never knew existed in Kanan, Ezra, Sabine, Hera, Chopper, Zeb, like all of these dudes in the Ghost Crew that are such a crudal, crucial part of what the Rebellion was in the early days and what it became... Um, to to find out there were two Jedi, a master and a, an apprentice that were, you know, running around during this time and really giving the Empire some trouble. <laughs> Even some of the best people in it, you know, and uh, as we'll see here, like with Thrawn in Zero Hour Part 1 and 2 here at the end of Season 3. I know we watched this last weekend, <laughs> but these episodes are so dang good and they really do show, like, the how how cool star wars rebels is and if you're missing out on star wars rebels you're missing out on some of the best star wars that there's ever been man so let's get this next episode rolling i'm gonna reset the timer i appreciate all you guys for hanging out with us here today and let me know what you guys thought of twin sons down in the comments and in the chat below and let's get this next episode going with season three episode 21 Zero hour part one and five, four, three, two, and one. Do it. Let's go. All right. Six inch figures usually have four releases. Okay. So maybe there's a couple more coming. THG says the Clone Wars is, in my opinion, better. But I do agree with your points as why as to why it's great. I know it's not a popular take on this. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, dude, don't get me wrong. The Clone Wars is incredible. It's some of the best stuff ever. And the seven seasons of the Clone Wars are chef's kiss brilliance. You know what I mean? Especially as we get there to the the, the further seasons. I think what adds so much to me with Rebels is some of the lore between the Force and different things like that. And just the, the Empire at this time, the Rebellion, seeing Darth Vader. Ha having it almost... <laughs> the thing with Rebels is if Clone Wars wasn't there, Rebels wouldn't almost be what it is. And the fact that the two work in unison, it's just, just almost add them to one story and it's the greatest story ever told. <laughs> Are we watching season three? Yeah, we are rewatching season three. We're back on season three, episode 21. It cannot fall into the rebels' hands. The Bridger train! Yes, Din, Din Bridger. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Aaron Tomato, much love, my dude. Just trying to add a little heat to what Rebels is, you know what I mean? Like I said, like, in some of the lows of my life, I've been able to kind of just dig myself out by just watching some Rebels. It, it adds so much hope, and that's really what the, the essence of Rebels is. It's a story about hope, even in some of the darkest moments of this episode, like we're going to see at the end of Season 4, it just... Even here, like they they don't succeed in this, these episodes, you know what I mean? This is this is a rough time for the rebellion, and uh, it's still a time of hope in a way, you know that the characters have to have hope for a better future and creating a better future. Don's music is so heat, indeed it is. To, Tim is so good. I, the Kiners are damn. Fire! And I cannot wait to have them in live action for the first time, dude. Y'all don't understand. The Kiners have... The, Kevin Kiner back in the day was working on Clone Wars. And now his kids are working with him on both the end of Clone Wars with Season 7 and everything. I think even before that, maybe. And then Rebels. They did all of Rebels. Now they're doing the Ahsoka show, too. And it's kind of just the, the trinity of Filoni stories that are just the greatest stories ever 
So that's why I'm saying, like, Rebels is so crucial to all of this and what's going on in the Ahsoka show, and it's just so damn good. But the Kiners, man, having them in live action, I, I don't, I think that their music is what we've seen in the trailers already, and if that is the case, dude, oh, they're bringing the heat. They are bringing the heat, Tim. Timothy, they're bringing the heat. Just the last few episodes, Saber Smith. Yeah, we're, we're just going back, man, because these are some of the best episodes ever. THG says, what Force-related thing is cooler? The Force Priestess, Wellspring of Life, the Father, Sister, and the Brother, or the World Between Worlds? I love seeing more lore around the Force. Exactly, dude. That's that's what I'm saying, though. Like, that's... It's it's in both, and that's what's so cool. I love the World Between Worlds. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm obsessed with the World Between Worlds. I'm obsessed with the Ones... And uh, I'm working on this whole Ahsoka video talking about all of that and all of her aspects and everything. So we're going to we're definitely going to be doing videos here on the main channel. So keep out. Keep your eyes out for that, man. I'm a slow editor, but they're, they're coming. They're coming. I just try to like them, like to make them as good as I can. So that's why it's a long process, but they're coming. And uh, I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to talk about some of that stuff here. We're, we're even probably going to do some streams on it. So uh, stay tuned, THG. I think all of it's so cool, though. I, 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 I'm obsessed with the world between worlds. <laughs> Yo! I love this, man. It's, it's so cool to see a bunch of the dudes from uh, from Rogue One and all, all the characters from the Rebellion starting to, to join up together at this part, part of the, the Star, Star Wars timeline. You know what I mean? Will we get the world between worlds in Ahsoka says so Star Wars fits? I feel like we will. I don't know for sure. Um, I feel like we should though. Yo, I just noticed one of those one of those clone trooper helmets had the uh, the bottom half ripped out, so it looked like it just had like teeth. Uh oh, Thrawn does know. Behind you! No! Uh oh. I love this man. Fight! 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 <laughs> uh oh. Oh! Dude, they really go pound for pound. Like, I'm almost surprised Callus can keep up with them, but also Callus is a G, man. I, I kind of hope we see Callus in the Ahsoka show, too. He saw. Oh! He didn't see that! Let's go. You talk too much. Always tickles me. And Aaron Tomato, right? It's great. Uh-oh. The Death Troopers, man. He didn't, he, he didn't even make it a fair fight. I like that he's on the same little platform thing as Sabine, too. That's cool that he went there. I'll take that as a compliment. Fire! Dude, I love Callus, man. I love his story arc through it. I think Callus is one of the examples of one of the best uh, Imperials turned good guy that they've done and they've done a lot believe me they have done a lot and it is fire much love jedi mike good to see you in the chat my dude Uh oh. Don figured it out. Do we know that a thousand percent Morgan Elizabeth is a night sister? Um, I do. So I do think that Morgan Elizabeth is a night sister. It's been a theory for a long time since back in Mando season two. Some of the stuff she had going on with like her markings, the fact she had like a fighting style, was you know able to keep up with Ahsoka for a little bit, and then. We do see a green flame with her doing some crazy hand magic stuff in the, the new Ahsoka trailer. And that green flame looks just like Marin in the Night Sisters magic. So yeah, I, I personally do think that she is a Night Sister, THG. I do. Again, Tim put into the chat. Go check it out. We have a Discord where we're hanging out, talking about Star Wars. It's a great community of a lot of the people you see here in chat. In fact, a lot of you in the chat are in that community. 
like I said. So go check us out there. Uh, you can get updated all the time for new new streams, new videos, depending on what channel it is. So with all the craziness going on right now, on the fact that we might be doing a lot of streams on the second channel, definitely make sure you're in the Discord to be updated every time we're going live and uh, where we're going to be streaming and what's going on. And uh, go check out our second channel that Tim posted in the chat too. You guys can check that out. I'm going to go pin that into the chat actually. Much love, Tim. Thank you as always. You the goat, my dude. Thanks, my brother. We'll go. Let's get out of here. Shoot it. No. I, f I always forget about this, that they have the gravity well, st the wellspring thing. Oh, my God. Hey, go check it out, THG. We do have a Discord. It is an awesome place to hang. We, we got to get some more, some more activity going on there. Maybe we'll even do some streams in there or something or, you know, talk it up with you guys in there. She does have a facial mar uh, marking at the top of her forehead. Yeah, she does have something going on with that. I, I mean, I don't know exactly what that is or what it's called, but it definitely looks kind of Night Sistery or Dathomirian, potentially. I don't think she's from Dathomir. Like, she looks like she's a human, so maybe she just, like, is a, a sect of Night Sister or something like I don't, I don't know she definitely looks like a night sister you know what i mean she could be a night sister and not be a dathomirian too i think i don't know exactly how that works i mean mandalorians can be mandalorian even if they're not from mandalore right so maybe it's kind of the same thing same with jedi bringing in children of the force and sith and everything like you can just become these things if if they bring you in i love this thrawn straight up like what's up harry how you doing sister I'm going to blow you up. <laughs> Interdictor. St oh, destroy. Yeah, those things are badass too, man. I love those. And uh, we, we see... The, don't we see one in Mando Season 2 too? That's what uh, Moff Gideon's got. Well, one of them's going. I love what Kanan does in this. <laughs> He's like, I can't leave. I gotta warn somebody. I love this, man. The Bendu has been so lit throughout this season. Go do it, Kanan. <laughs> Problem with him? I love this. Let's do it, Ezra. Get on out of here, my guy. Yeah, may the force be with you indeed. <laughs> sure beats hunting for jupas. Let's go! The Rebellion's got to go hard in this one, man. Season 3 finale is great, dude. Sabersmith, it's some of the best. It's some of the best. And uh, like I said, it does bring kind of the the full force of what's going on at this time with the early Rebellion and fighting against the Empire. Of course, Thrawn being a part of it is some of the coolest story ever. Like, it's so damn good. And speaking of Thrawn, the Chimera is there and awaiting Otas. Thrawn knows everything, dude. This dude's a genius. I, a lot of the novels and stuff with Thrawn are so detailed and add so much to his story. We'll probably talk about some of them as we get closer to Ahsoka here. And, um, dude, it's so much like this where you get Thrawn kind of commanding, send the first fleet. Where, you know, a lot of space fights. And he's such a good general. I imagine we're going to see some of that in uh, the Ahsoka show, dude. And that's going to be fire. It's going to be so good. The finales and season openers are always great, Tim. Every single time. Tim, I, Timothy, I promise you, my dude. Dave Filoni's like, 
first episodes, we got to make him fire, hook him in. Finales, even more fire. You know what I mean? He's just always writing with the heat. The pencil's catching fire. Pen, probably. I imagine Dave might be a pen guy. I don't know. He, he does like to draw. Maybe he does like pencil. Probably both. Whatever he has on him. <laughs> oh, Rex got him. Hey, the Y-Wings with the proton bombs are fire. I used to love doing those in the, the old Lego Star Wars game. Heck, in the new Lego Star Wars game. I was thinking maybe we could stream that on Twitch, too. We'll see. We'll see. Got a lot of plans ahead. We'll talk about it. Damn. Yeah, hopefully Chopper's like, yeah, man. Gideon ship is an Imperial version of the Arqu Arquidens class light cruiser. Ar Arquidens? Did I say that right? Okay, so it's a light cruiser. Huh. Bendu's like, you've brought war, Kitten. He's pissed. Look at his eyes. No part of it. Woo. Cannon's like, damn it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's like that. <laughs> it's like the Punisher meme. Wait, 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 wait. Like a rock in the river. Mm. <laughs> Kanan's, Kanan's got some points here. The one in the middle. I know, I know, I know. Kanan's spinning. And that's something I love about Rebels 2, man. It's another great... Another, dude, Season 3's got some of the best quotes ever, dude. Let's go. Uh-oh. The Lego would be awesome. I keep going back and praying all the time. I, the Lego of which? Gideon ship? Isn't there a Lego of Gideon ship? The Lego Mandoween special? Yo, I didn't even know that was a thing, Fitz. I don't know how I was out of the loop for that. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I love that they do those holiday Lego specials, man. They're, they're fun. They're fun. They're a lot of fun. I always love having fun with Star Wars. You know what I'm saying? Whew. We got to get out of there. Commander Sato, the goat. Uh oh. Hey yo, what up, what up, Andre? Good to see you in the chat, my dude. Yo, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I had uh, Skywalker's. I really hadn't heard of it yet. Uh oh. No, not the Y wing. It looked kind of big when it crashed into there. That was funny. Damn. Another one. Sato here. Whew. Are, the are the rebels forgetting to have their shields up? I guess so. I don't know, man. There's a lot of heavy weaponed uh, Imperial ships there. The Lego game. The Skywalker saga I meant. Oh, wait. Oh. The Lego would be awesome. I keep going back and playing all the time. Yeah, dude. I, uh, I've i played it a couple times on the channel. In fact, there was a there was a clip I kind of wanted to re-upload of, uh, of me playing it where there's like a glitch. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it already, but there's like a little glitch or like a, a thing you could do within the system where Mando, and, Mando can have Grogu and you can change Grogu to another character and just clone characters and keep creating more and more. And so there's one time I had like... 
20 sheaves on the screen at one point and it crashed the stream but it was really funny <laughs> like i was like oh i'm the chancellor i'm i'm palpatine oh <laughs> i'm the emperor oh yeah that, that was really funny too <laughs> I love I love that. That was one of the funniest things we've done on the channel. I swear, I got I gotta re-upload that one. <laughs> There's also one time when we were playing it. Uh, I got this cosplay for Star Wars Celebration back in 2021. Uh, when we had, it was it was in Anaheim, or was it 21 or 22? I think it was 22. <laughs> Damn, Sato. Hey, Sh Sato, you should have crashed in the Thrawn ship, my guy. Come on. Come on, Sato. Wrong ship. It was 22? That's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So back in twenty two, at uh, I I had this, I had this cosplay of one of the 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 Cal Kestis Inquisitor cosplay. So I was Cal Kestis Inquisitor. My girlfriend ended up being um the second sister, and uh, I dressed up in the and <laughs> in the Inquisitor outfit or the Cal Inquisitor outfit for one of the Lego Star Wars streams. It was really funny. <laughs> Thrawn's protected by plot armor. No, you got it. Come on, Sato. If he did, Thrawn won't be in the Ahsoka show. Yeah, but then like Ezra and Kanan probably could have beat him. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that was the original timeline before they changed it in the World Between Worlds. <laughs> they killed Thrawn. It's like the the Kenny, the, you know Kenny from South Park. They killed Thrawn. No, that's a was that Luminara who they killed like four times, or was that another Jedi? I can't remember. I always get it mixed up. Uh oh, Bendu's pissed now. Yeah, Constantine did deserve it though. Let's be real. And plus, like the Thrawn's not even like the worst. He's definitely evil, and he's super smart. Shakti, yeah, Shakti died like seven times. She's Kenny. She's Kenny for sure. <laughs> oh my God, they killed Shakti. Oh well. <laughs> I think Constantine's ship was the one preventing Ezra from escaping. No, yeah, it was the one with the hyper hyperspace well or whatever those they're called again. But yeah, that that's why Constantine went down. Plus, he uh, didn't listen to Thrawn. Like he, he's a dummy. Shock T is for sure, Kenny, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Does that mean we go back? No, Chopper. What you mean? Yes. Do it, Ezra. Go get your girl. Let's go. Sabine. All right, y'all. We got one more episode in season three. Let's get this next one up here and let's continue it going. How's everybody doing in the chat so far? Love you. If I lose you, my internet's trying to crash. No, tell it. Tell, tell it no. Tell it no, Don. Tim says, wait, was that mommy? Say what? Moth mama? Oh, you already know. Moth mama's been all over this season, my guy. She's, uh, I love the fact that Moth mama's all over season three, too. Like, it, it's pretty cool. And the fact that we see her in the Star Wars Ahsoka trailer, Moth mama's coming back and she's better than ever, you know what I mean? Someone pointed out, a lot of people have actually been pointing out, like, dude, by the time of episode 6, my Mothma definitely doesn't look as good as she did back in the day. You know what I mean? But then she looks good as hell again. And I'm like, look, look, look. Let, let me explain the Moth Mama thing. All right. First of all, she's definitely a mama. She's Moth Mama. All right. Second of all, she's got to, you know, play to the role that she's in. That's the whole thing. Like, when she's in the political role, like we see her in Andor, she's got to play to the role. She's got to look the part. She's got to do the thing. 
But when she actually becomes a full part of the rebellion, the rebels crew helps like bring her in and everything. She's running around from the Empire just like a lot of the other rebels do. She's, you know, she's a little bit more depressed. She's, she probably doesn't have her family anymore at that point. Who knows what's going to end up happening with that? Maybe in Andor Season 2. Heck, I think Andor might end up actually working closer with Mon Mothma in Season 2, which would be really cool to see. And, um, yeah, dude, I mean, she's trying to, she's trying to organize a whole rebellion, do things the right way so that she doesn't become like the Empire. And, I mean, she makes a lot of mistakes along the way, too. I'm going to be honest. Mon Mothma's, Moth Mama's not perfect, although... We love her. But there's a whole reason by the time of episode six, Return of the Jedi, she's looking a little like, you know, worn down. She's been doing war for a while. And uh, by the time she gets back to Ahsoka, she's looking good because she's doing the whole political thing again. She's trying to, you know, spaz herself up. She becomes the chancellor at one point, which I'm sure that's real, real, you know, stressful. But she's, she's got to look the part. She's got to look the part. She has children. <laughs> she's in and yeah, she has a ch- she has a daughter in Andor for sure. She she's she is Moth Mama. I'm telling you, she's everywhere. Yeah, dude, I love how much they're using her lately. Time to get the future Mrs. Bridger. Ooh, girl, you already know. <laughs> for real, those Star Wars fits. Chuck T killed by General Grievous, Anakin, and Star Killer, and then Anakin again. I think right. Right? Didn't she die in the temple at one point? Too? I don't know. She's been, she's been killed a lot. <laughs> she's, oh my god, they killed Shark T. <laughs> Alright y'all, let's get season 3 episode 22 going. The finale of season 3. Zero Hour Part 2. Another banger of an episode here with Thrawn. Let us begin in the next. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, do it. No, no, timer, come here. Ah! All right, let's go. <laughs> man, I love Star Wars Rebels. Always brings me, always gives me good vibes. Puts me in a good mood, man. Some of the best stuff. Star Wars is just a... It's that big Star Wars hug, right? Sabersmith? Love it. Fire it up! Thank God Sabine did this. Let's go! Shock T must be a time lord. She keeps getting regenerated every after every death. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, part of the TVA or something. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. To the world between worlds? Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, damn. Orbital bombardment incoming. The acting in Andor just made me love her so much, says Timothy. Dude, she's awesome. I love Genevieve O'Reilly. She's freaking dope. Uh, she's an awesome mom mama. You know what I'm saying? She's. It's so cool to me that they brought her back from, like... Scenes she wasn't even actually in during the prequels. Like, they, she originally was part of these, uh, what is it called? Cut scenes, I guess. The scenes that were cut from the movie. She's part of the, 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 the all, all of that stuff. I can't, I don't know why I can't think of what that's called. She's part of the cut scenes, though, and she was originally the Moth Mama in, uh, in the prequels, and then they brought her back for Andor and for Rogue One and all of this stuff, and hell yeah, man. She's awesome. She's, it's so cool. Oh! Ken is like barely avoiding. Dude, that looks so crazy. I would need to clean out my shorts. Just saying. Like, that's scary. Whew! And then Thrawn's like, stop right before they're gonna die. No! Dude. Yeah, dude, the Thrawn music is so good. <laughs> I really hope we get some of this back in the Ahsoka show. It's going to be fire. Do it. No, keep going. Destroy them, Thrawn. <laughs> it barely held. It looks like it's about to blow up. <laughs> 
You good, G? Speaking of children, these two got got a children. You know what I'm saying? Like Jason Sandula could pop up at some point. Uh oh, the storm's coming. Yo, I love their planet, man. The, they chose right. You know what I'm saying? The Clan Ren knows knows what true living is. <laughs> That's where I would live. Damn. Sabine's like, what? Damn. Yo, I wonder if I wonder if Clan Ren helping here could have potentially hurt them. Obviously, we see them in season 4, so maybe not. You know, they they, they do get some help back, so never mind. We'll see. We'll see, right? Season 4 is around the corner. <laughs> Callus. You think you won, but you didn't. Soak is going to be damn, so damn good, man. Dave Filoni's got that heat. It's going to be top notch. Some of the directors working on it are, are, are fantastic. You know what I mean? So it's only a month away. It's around the corner. We're really getting close here. We're really getting close here. It's literally like a month away, man. I can't wait. Let's get it done, go. Let's go. That interdictor is what we gotta worry about. It's the gravity well. Or the, the hyperspace well. Not hyperspace whale. That's a purgle. Chill, chill. <laughs> I can't believe in Europe having a heat wave. They're having, uh, and in Ireland we have rain. Go figure. Yeah, there's been a heat wave where I'm in my part of the world, and it, whoo! I can it. Can we just get like 87? That's not too much to ask for, right? That's still pretty warm, and it's it'd be much better than what we have been getting. It's probably 87 right now, and it no, it's probably like 90. <laughs> it's probably like 90 something. It's warm. I forgot Sabine had a brother. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I swear. We got to we got to the season three episodes and I was like, oh yeah, Sabine's got a brother. I, I'm telling y'all, man, I have a big theory on what's been going on with Sabine. I posted it on Twitter and uh, we also made a threads recently, which I know there's been some, you know, stuff going on on Twitter these days with the Mr. Elon, you know. So, um, I don't entirely like all that. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. But Threads came out. I don't need, I, I mean, Zuckerberg ain't that great either. But, <laughs> but um, for real though, I, I did make a Threads. We have an Instagram. Uh, I, I put on Threads and Twitter this thread of... You know, whether or not Sabine might be force sensitive. So go check out our socials and uh, let me know what you guys think. If uh, Sabine's force sensitive and what you think of my theory of what's been going on with her. Well, we're going to do like a little video of that too and everything coming up. Blow that thing to smithereens. Woo! Nice shot. Keep them coming, Thrawn. Keep them coming. <laughs> yeah, Twitter is cheeks. <laughs> we can't get threads over here yet. Hope we will. 
Oh, for sure, man. Well, it's fine. There ain't that many people on threads yet either. I barely saw it yesterday because it was like, oh, someone's trying to follow your account on threads for Vader's Lair. And I'm like, all right, I'll make a threads and post this thread. You know what I mean? <laughs> trying to get all the socials and everything going with the, the channel monetization currently. It's all good, though. We got to keep it coming. What up, Darth Maximus? Welcome in, my dude. Happy Saturday to you, and cheers, my guy. Cheers to some rebels. Get that annoyance out of the sky. Damn, dude, the, the AT-ATs are wild, dude. These things are gigantic. And then Kanan. I love I love seeing Jedi fight them, though. You know what I mean? That's really cool. <laughs> hey, much love, everybody, in the chat. Y'all are, y'all are the best. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. Good thing there's not really any Inquisitors at this point. You know what I mean? If there was Inquisitors with Thrawn, <laughs> that would have been probably an issue. Don't know why the Rebels run away from the Stormtroopers. They can't hit nothing. They can't hit nothing. Even even the Death Troopers, man. Where, where's your guys' aim? I thought you were supposed to be the best of the best. Come on, Dodonna, let's go, let's go. If I go out, it's going to be on the ghost. <laughs> I love that line from Mary. She's like, I, I, I'll blow up on the ship. I don't want to die like this. <laughs> like, what? But I get it. She's She's got to go down with the ship. Oh, dude, Maul's ship is so much bigger than the other Mandalorian ships. <laughs> that thing is gigantic. You know what's kind of funny? I I was thinking about it the other day. Ezra is kind of brought into the Mandalorians. I don't know if it was this episode or if it's the next episode or like in season the beginning of season four. But they're like, "Well, Ezra, you're a Mandalorian now," and he's like, "I don't want to be a Mandalorian." And then you got Sabine, who's a Mandalorian, and now she's becoming a Jedi. Apparently, you know what I mean? So I just I thought that was funny. Don't they say a captain does go down with the ship? Yeah, yeah. A, a captain is supposed to go down with their ship. That's why I, I was like, all right, well, if, the, if Hera went down with their ship, that, that makes sense. But a fiery explosion! Whoo! That would be a freaking wild way to die. <laughs> Oppenheimer style. Sheesh. Too soon? That's fucked up. Shaking my head, man. <laughs> Talent to Mr. Griffin. It's good to see you in the chat, my dude. Don't know why the rebels run away from stormtroopers. <laughs> they can't hit nothing. Yeah, I read that one. My bad. <laughs> Whoo! Kill the Jedi. Do it. Yo, imagine if there was a Chiss Jedi. That would be scary. Or a Chiss Sith. Whew. I mean, obviously, the Chiss Skywalkers are usually female, and those are their Force sensitives. Generally. For those that know about all that. Are you afraid of the storm? You should be. The Bendu! <laughs> Much love, talent to Mr. Griffin. Jedi Mando hybrid, are they foreshadowing marriage? <laughs> I don't know if it's that deep. 
And generally, Dave's like kind of stayed away from that. Even with Kanan and Hera, it's not like thrown in our face. Ooh, she knows his lore. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm trying to trying to add a little value. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, for real though. The inter get that interdictor, man. Those things are annoying. Yeah, I love sp Ezra's spacesuit in this. Definitely unique. It's got the little like Imperial Old Republic symbol. Kind of, like, it almost looks exactly like Ahsoka's thing, right? With the little Imperial symbol on hers, right? Yeah, Ch that is true too, Stanley. It's the Chiz Skywalker's Force abilities fade mid mid teens or something. Yeah, it, it happens like early teens, like. 13, 14, I think. Tw that's like late for it to go away even. I'd say like 12, 13. And that's usually when the Chiss Skywalkers would be brought out of it. So the whole thing with Chiss Skywalkers, the the Chiss basically didn't have a way to navigate the chaos, the unknown regions of space, which are much dangerous, much more dangerous, and much harder to navigate, obviously. So they don't have any hyperspace charts or anything like that. So the way that they get around with hyperspace is by using these Chiss Skywalkers, which are their force sensitive female children, basically. The the little girls of the of the Chiss. And um one of them actually or basically there's a lot in the story. Thrawn has some in the books that help navigate hyperspace for him. And I, I know there's a lot of crazy stuff happening in this episode. I'm just trying to explain it. <laughs> Basically, though, by the time they reach, like, age 13, 14, their Force-sensitive abilities start to fade away and they get rid of them. But they're really only used for the naval operations of the Chiss. I might have made them angry. The Bender's not really happy with me right now. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... Just, you know, spoiler alert for anybody that maybe doesn't know. Thrawn does have a Force-sensitive little sister that became a Chiss Skywalker at one point. And we find out about her in the novels. So maybe that comes back in some way? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of story we don't know between Rebels and what we see in Ahsoka. So who knows? Maybe maybe Timothy Zahn will end up writing some novels that uh, fill in the gaps there. But we'll, we'll definitely do some streams kind of elaborating more on this stuff. If you guys want to know more about Thrawn and the Chiss. So subscribe to the channel. I wonder why Dave decided not to include the Salamari and Rebels. Uh, he probably doesn't. I don't know. Oh, yo, we'll, we'll talk about it in a stream this week. But um, y'all see Ezra's saber change? I guess Sabine's saber. It looks a little different now. Oh, Ezra's like barely not blowing up. I don't know, maybe Salamari will come into Ahsoka, but I, he maybe just wants to not use the exact story that uh, Zahn did back in the day, you know? Whoo! That did the trick! Let's get it out of here! That's a big explosion of that interdictor. Whoo! I swear, dude. Price, Governor Price is the worst. And she's she's all the way back in the first Thrawn novel, too. And she, you just learn all the dirty deeds she did to get the power she's got. And she just keeps messing up with Thrawn here at the end of season three and four. And it's like... <laughs> You get what you deserve! You deserve it! Timothy says, I love when they're fighting outside of the ship. We need more of that, dude. Yeah, dude. More space fights. More space fights. I, I love it. It's freaking fire. Oh, Callus is the goat. Get out of there, Callus. Find that escape pod. You can do it.
Say what? They had statues in Thrawn's collection or something like that. Is Salamari? What? Jedo Mando hybrid are foreshadowing marriage. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. <laughs> Which one did I miss, Stanley's? The the statues? Interesting. Hot Callus has entered the chat! Yes! Hot Callus has already begun. His hair is starting to kind of do his thing because now he's not an Imperial. He doesn't have to tidy it up. He's he's looking a little more fresh, you know what I'm saying? Hot Callus is entering the chat, though, for sure. I subscribe, too. And, and the best thing is, Callus doesn't become hot until... Well, I mean, let's be real here. But hot Callus, you know what I mean? He, beca he, he enters his hot Callus phase when he becomes a rebel. Like, fully becomes a rebel. You know what I mean? And that tells you something. <laughs> you done screwed up, Price. Oh, this scene is so fire, though. I can't believe he actually shot down the Bendu. You can't be me, sucker. It seems so. I love this, dude. This scene is so far. But I can. I love this. Spoiler alerts. Yes. Oh. You missed me, sucker! <laughs> oh, got a little, like, raspy there at the end. <laughs> His rumble with Thrawn activated his hotness. <laughs> you already know. You already know. They're into each other, probably. I bet. I, I wouldn't. I mean. Thrawn's not bad looking. He's blue. Alright, no. <laughs> that made me think of something that's super funny, but I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> Freshest there is. He's hot callous before he... Now he's hot callous. What? What callous? He's what callous? Thank you for ev risking everything. Dude, I saw a compilation that we post reposted on Instagram the other day of Kanan and all his like really good moments like that. Cannon's the goat, dude. It's going to be rough getting the season four's finale. It's going to be a rough time. That laugh was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I liked the Bendu's laugh, though. That was really good, too. Foreshadowing. I love this scene. Differently. One where we're all freak. Ezra's like, what? And it is up to them to make it happen. Fire freaking ending this season three, man. Oh, the show's so, so good. It's so good. All right, y'all. Let me know what you thought of the finale of season three here. Because Star Wars Rebels is some of the best stuff that there is. And this was some fire Star Wars Rebels chats. Fire Star Wars Rebels chat. So let, let's talk about it for a little bit because we got some time to talk. To talk. So I love that ending there, season three, with Bendu talking to Thrawn and everything. Because it, I mean, for those of you guys that have seen Star Wars Rebels in its entirety, you know what's up. You know what's up with that scene and you know what the Bendu is talking about. I can see. I can see where your story is going. And, uh, it's funny. Dave Filoni is so genius with it, the little stuff that he throws in with that. And it's just what makes Star Wars and the the stories that Dave Filoni has created with Clone Wars, Rebels, and of course, with now Ahsoka being kind of the, uh, the third act, I guess you could say. 15 out of 10 is definitely accurate, Star Wars fits. It's so damn good, you know what I mean? And 
for him to have this this all kind of connected and the bendu telling him i see i see where you're going and many arms i see your defeat with many arms in a cold embrace he's talking about that finale in season four which again we're inching closer and closer to i apologize that we had to go back and redo these episodes by the way so let's uh let's kind of talk about that for a sec we'll get into the chat and let me know what you guys thought of the episodes we watched because they are so damn good some of the best star wars ever and some of the best storytelling that there is and yes callus has officially ascended to hot what callus indeed i was actually talking about the bendu but yours is good too <laughs> Yeah, the Bendu's laugh is definitely fire as heck. Mine was a little raspy, I think. A little bit raspy. And again, go support the channel if you guys want to check out our Streamlabs website. We got some merch over there. You guys can throw in your super chats there. Uh, and uh, go check out our Discord as well. So let's talk about kind of the plan. Because I don't think that we're going to be doing too many live streams in terms of watch parties. So don't hear what I'm not saying. Sorry. We're not going to be doing too many watch parties on this channel for right now. We got a little 90 day period here where we got to figure out kind of the, what kind of content we're pushing out here. And I think that we're going to be doing kind of videos, hyping up Ahsoka, getting us ready for it, talking about some of the lore within that. And um, I definitely think that, you know, we're going to be doing as much lore kind of centered stuff, whether it's live streams, videos, stuff kind of here, to, you know, previews for episodes. And then we're going to probably do our watch parties over on the second channel, which is pinned to the chat right now. I'm probably going to throw it into the description below. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're probably going to do watch parties there. That's hopefully the plan right now. Tomorrow's watch party will probably be over there. So I just want to let you guys know that that's kind of the idea at the moment. I'm debating doing some Twitch stuff. I don't know if we could maybe do some gaming there or how much stuff we're going to be doing there. Right now we have the channel though. So if you guys want to find out that Twitch page, you can find that in the Discord. But yeah, I'm still kind of figure out, figuring it out what we're going to be doing where, how everything is going to be kind of going down. So go check out our Discord, please. And Tim, thanks for throwing all the links in. You guys can check out that Sheave the Wise channel, which is the second YouTube channel that we have over there and where we're probably going to be doing our watch parties. Thank you all for hanging out with us, though. And um, I don't know if there's anything else that we need to talk about at the moment. I'm trying to figure it out just to let you guys know what's going on. If I am missing anything, of course, our Discord is where you're going to be able to kind of stay up to date with that. I'm going to try and repost any kind of stuff that we're doing on our little uh channel page here so on youtube and you guys can stay up to date through that too as well uh just make sure to turn on all the notifications subscribe do all the things you know what i mean much love stanley's i'll see you in the next one my dude thanks for hanging out with us here um what else what else is happening yeah i think that's kind of the plan for the moment though uh we are going to be doing so i think we're going to be doing a secret invasion over on the other channel we might even do a little bit more pop culture stuff other than just star wars so talking about marvel potentially maybe about oppenheimer potentially different movies like that at some point after they've been out for a little bit um i don't know i, I kind of want to do some other stuff on the channel though on or on our second channel since we do have kind of star, star wars centered stuff here and we're definitely not going anywhere here either we're probably still going to be doing all the all the live streams and the things heck uh monday probably stay tuned because we'll probably be doing a live stream talking about all the latest with like the lightsabers and stuff that was shown at san diego comic-con kind of keeping you guys up to date again there was some cool little teases for the ahsoka show which is just about a month away just over a month it's almost here y'all the hype is real it's it's about to get lit man getting late here i'll see you tomorrow much love fits i'll see you in the next one my dude sonia it's good to see you in the chat i'm doing all right i'm doing all right okay y'all uh, i think that is everything though again go check out our discord which is tim put into the link uh or put a link to in the chat it's also in the description below go check out our second channel sheave the wise on youtube and uh, definitely stay tuned on our Discord. Follow all the socials, which you see on the screen. And I will see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you all for being here. And may the force be with you always. Peace out, everybody.
shoot before we go if you want to watch the rest of our star wars rebels kind of rewatches or you have missed any go check out the playlist i'm gonna put it up here on the screen if you're watching on the replay thank you all for hanging out with us again go check out that second channel go check out those star wars things we have a reaction to the official ahsoka trailer as well so go check out all the stuff thank you for the support and i'll see you in the next one peace